so it was, uh, as, as I said, we were separated into different groups. We, we had to show, we, we had to show our papers. Some drag queens were arrested. Um, um, fortunately I was not, but, um, as a habit, when we would leave the bar, we would just burst and disappear for 20 minutes and within 20 minutes we would come back because by then the police had been paid off the mafia came back cut the padlock off the door brought in their watered down liquor and the party continued but that evening was a whole different situation instead of disappearing we went across the street to the park called Shredded Square Park, and we stood there, and um, we started throwing change at the police, calling them pigs, calling them names. Um, you could feel the tension mounting amongst the patrons of the bar that evening. And still and yet, we did not know what was it. It's going to happen in the next few weeks. <laughs> Within moments, a bottle started flying at the, towards the police. Bricks started going through the air. Um, I have been attributed of throwing the first Molotov cocktail written in, in a lot of history books, but I can honestly say that I threw the second one, not the first one. But um, with all this going on, windows were being broken, cars were being turned over, a couple of drag queens grabbed the parking meter and uprooted it from the ground, which they proceeded to use as a battering ram. As, as a battering ram because the police at this time, the five of them, had barricaded themselves in the bar because they were afraid of us for a change. <laughs> We 45 minutes later in full riot gear with shields from head to toe, with the big batons, the tear gas, the, they were on horses, and that's when the horror of that evening and the history of this day that's going to happen tomorrow really, really started. At the moment of this, of these pigs coming in and the horror that we felt and all of a sudden all you saw was people getting beat up, the blood flying all over the place, the, the horror of it all, but what was the most beautiful part of it all was that we kept coming back for more. We didn't stop. We weren't afraid. We didn't care if we died. We were not going to be oppressed anymore. And I was, I am glad that I was there. I was glad to this day, even though that the gay community does not respect what I and the other transgender people had done to liberate 
every gay person and every diverse person in the world so they can come here tomorrow and celebrate World Pride, which I also understand that here the transgender community has a problem to be included in name only. If it was not for the people of that evening of my era, the drag queen, there would be no gay liberation for nobody. There would be no liberation for anybody.